Hi everybody! So today it's a special day. As you might know, I like reggae. So I have a lot of reggae songs in my, my videos. So today I'm gonna do a freestyle pattern that I'm gonna name Rasta. So uh, let's begin. Let's start this bad boy then. Uh, first of all, extra small oval gold tinsel. I'm just attaching that one. I'm tying on uh, quite a large hook. This is going to be a display fly, but later on I'm going to tie on smaller ones for fishing. There we go, four turns. So I just can tie it in a bit and cut the leftovers. Same there. Going back again with the thread, leave a bit of room. That's perfect. Green silk. Okay, just gonna tie it in all the way. Going forward again. Back with the thread. The same here, I'm tying, tying it in all the way forward. So where my gear stops or ends. There we go. Cutting the leftovers. So going backward with the thread again. Now I don't need to build up so much. It's almost in place already. Just building up a little bit. There we are, tail time, a bit of wax.
detail is in place. Just tying in the rest there. Not all of it, but plenty. So, next step. Swan feathers, green, yellow, red. Just gonna match them up. a bit now they look better Fibers off. So next step, yeah, ostrich hair. Find a nice hair here to. Liquid. There we go. Oh, I got two. Saving that one for later. Now it's secured in place. So I'm cutting that one off. Now we're gonna add a tin cell. So I'm gonna continue with gold tin cell. I'm gonna have one gold embossed and one. Uh, uh, medium size oval gold Just tying it in, make 
making sure it stays as flat as possible towards the hook. And I'm gonna have a bump here. There we go. And then the embossed one. That's really gonna pop. So let me see if I can. There we have. Come on. I wanna find the start of it. Sure, I'm gonna manage to do that. It's loose. So, if I carefully use my dubbing needle, I might be able to find it. There we are. Haha. <laughs> Good man. Something like that, so take like a decimeter just in case. Going back with the thread, then and then gently adding the embossed, and I'm gonna break it sensitive metallic tinsel somewhere here will be nice I'm just gonna build up a bit with the thread again Pushing hard with the nail. Sorry for that about the noise. I just need to have a look. Normally I always turn this one off. Yes, to work, so nothing serious. So, some more silk. Gonna take the opportunity to level their body when I'm using the silk here. in all the way up to the, where the goat is somewhere there I think the leftovers so let's work with this silk then
I'm just changing direction of the hook so I can see easier how the silk builds up. I need to apply more layers so to say. use the silk to build up up to the gutes if it's a fishing fly you should, it should be fully good. and you cut it off so I'm just gonna take the scissor and even it out there we go so yellow cockackel One yellow feather, I'm gonna double double it, meaning a folding down one side. Almost done. Normally I do this before I tie a fly, but I wanted to look at the progress and then choose a the hacker. There we are. Hmm, just realized I need to have another color of seal fur as well. Get a bigger box. So I'm looking for red. Everything is always underneath everything else. There we are. 
That's one red. Let's look at the other one. Red, yellow, there we are. Silver time, um, starting with yellow. I like to pick out the silver when I'm done, just to give some volume to the fly. I don't want it to be flat. So going all the way. There we are. So let's attach a little bit yellow. I'm starting quite small and then Add more, otherwise the, the green silk in the back will just disappear. Let's keep going, adding some seal fur. Now we change to red silver. Just taking out the small pieces of wood in the silver. It's used to dry the silver when you have covered it. I think that's sufficient because we're gonna have a red front tackle that's gonna fill up and it's actually tinsel time and I'm gonna start with the embossed one I need 
to be careful not cutting the steam of the cook cook cackle. Lost one. And me talking about glasses, so oh, six months almost. I need to do something about that because it's uh, yeah, it's hard to see. We're not getting any any younger. So. Both tinsel are in place. Just adding some tread above that tinsel so I don't actually accidentally uh, cut the the tread later so what I'm gonna do now is just to pull out a bit of the seal fur might do that again after I'm done with them um, hackle as well just giving the fly a little bit of volume Hackle time. So just following the tin cell. for a little bit more and the tinsel looks okay for my eyes <laughs> however when I take a close-up I'm not sure so yeah bear with me I need glasses Just cutting the longest uh, hairs. 
sealing up a bit. Then we're talking front tackle. So, red cock. Let's see what I got. Maybe something like that. Sufficient length. So first of all, waxing the thread. Wrap around, folding the feathers backwards. Somewhere there is sufficient. I'm just gonna tie it in. I'm just clearing out the middle since we're gonna have gap it uh, tippets there so I'm just pushing them down on the side as you see Lovely. So now it's time for the middle wing. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's going to be gippy tippets.
So I'm just gonna prepare this and then uh, start the video again. Um, I took the opportunity to add the middle wing, the bread GP tippet, yeah, tippet. <coughs> and I created the wings. So I'm just gonna pair them up. Bear with me. look at that it's gonna be nicer when you uh, see it in proper lighting in it one of the front tackle so I'm gonna find a decent easy feather Bean. So let me see if I can get a few others. But this one I can use. Didn't compact well there. Removing the tackle. Normally, I would reset the wing, but it's kind of late. I 
Let me see. Yeah, and there they are. I just want to find a nice one for that side. with them have all these ankles here ankle fibers and it looks much better some wax thread removing some small fibers there I did notice another one I'm gonna remove that gone almost ready Can add some nice little red feathers on the side. Not time to sneeze. there adding the other one
くね。珍しいね。It's gonna remove a seal fur that is in the way. Done. So, what's left to do is to add some varnish. I bought a new varnish. Couldn't get any vineyard from, from my supplier anymore, so I bought Beneshi. I used it before, so I know it's really good. So now I'm using Beneshi's, like a river. Yeah, it's a good one. I like it. My old ones were, was very dry. So let's the, let's keep the time going. Last step before I finish the head and take a photo and topping. So let me just secure that one. I want it to slide around. It's hard when you can't see the fly. <laughs> Oi! And I managed to ruin the wing a bit. There we go. That wasn't really my intention. a bit so let's do this then doesn't wanna sit where I want it we're we gonna change that There we are. No. Oh my god. What's happening? There we are, popping in place where I want it. So I'm just gonna play around with the rest of the feathers. There we are. So I'm gonna finish the head and then uh, the video is almost done. That's it. That's how you tie this Rasta fly. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, see you guys in the next video. Stay safe.
reflection Lately nothing's coming my way Keep drowning every bit of my devotion 